Hello and welcome back for another episode of Dumb Dumb Tech. Today we're doing reviews on capture cards. Beautiful assistant and all of that. Well, assistant maybe. As long as your wife finds you beautiful. Um, as you know, we've done quite a few reviews of graphics cards and stuff in the past and we've had game footage for it, but we've just been using a built-in software screen recorder for that and that affects the performance. So Alan decided to be fancy and try and be professional. I did. So this is the Ugreen 1080p capture card. A uh, few of the specs straight off the bat for this one is um, it will pass through at 4K at 30. Um, compatibility, PS5, Xbox, Switch, PC, various Apple devices, and many, many more. Um, connections, USB-C for the actual input. Um, so that'll go to your capture device, like your computer that you're capturing your image on your HDMI in, HDMI out, and then you've got mic in and audio out. So that, for example, if you were capturing from somewhere else, you could put your mic in and then actually record over into the software. Uh, this was £30.59. It's plastic. You know, it has a little LED lights up when you're all plugged in and there's not much you know about it so i only went for 1080 except I mean, that's what we're doing so 1080 at 60 is absolutely fine uh, especially at the price i paid as if you look at elgato on 1080 you're up at about 87 pounds now i thought i got a good deal on this and then he came along yeah i thought i'd try and be more professional uh professional uh, uh um, I that, thought I'd that works. Thought, yeah, I thought I'd sort of future proof us a little bit, and I saw a deal for a 4K one. Um, I was worried it was going to be a 4K pass through, but it's not. It's actually a 4K capture device as well. It's still U Green. Um, does all the same things as Alan's little 1080p one, but it's got a few extra features. We've got metal. Don't know why I need metal, but I've got metal. We also have a reset button that I haven't worked out what it resets yet. And we have the addition of just a mic in, a line in from your audio source and also audio out as well. And we all know the whole point of the capture cards is to give your game footage the best performance. So you green in their wisdom decided that they're going to make it more FPS in every way they can and for some reason, they've put RGB on it. I was wondering if you were going to mention that. Well, I had to before you did. <laughs> I was saying, like, oh, it's pretty good. Go on, mention it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. How much extra money did you pay because they put RGB in that? That's a good question. Um, this itself cost me $79.99 from Amazon. It, did I really need 4K? No, not yet. We're only just about getting up to testing for 2K. But for the price of it, I couldn't really turn it down. What are you looking at? No, your pass through, because mine only does 4K 30 pass through. Oh, uh, no, 4K 240 FPS for pass through. So you literally won't lose any footage if you're using it for Twitch stream or anything like that. It's actually pretty good. And for £80, considering. The cheapest Elgato was what, 165, 180? 185 pounds. 185 pounds for a poor pay capture Elgato card. It's like. Yeah. But a lot of the Elgatos will do 4K pass through at a cheaper price, but they won't do the capture side of it. So if capture's not important to you, fine. But we, yeah. needed, we needed to capture. So. Yeah. Mainly for our videos, just so that. We look a bit more professional and we know what we're doing, even though we don't yet. Yeah, exactly. We're trolling along so far. Why did you use the word trolling? Because look at us. You know what's going to happen now? We're going to get trolled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else does this one do, actually? Talking about that. Did you that? not read that beforehand? Uh, should have done. 
they're too much professional. <laughs> um, so you can use it with a multitude of recording program software. Um, OBS is the one that's recommended, but this also says it will work with XSplit, Pot Player, QuickTime Player, and more. And which one would you recommend? OBS. Because? It's easiest. It's the only one you've used, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. QuickTime Player. We've all used QuickTime Player back in the day. Is that still going? Yeah, apparently so. All right. I'm yes. sorry, yeah, date. So, ah, the data measured by you, Green Lab, may be varied based on specific circumstances. What are the circumstances? It doesn't say it wasn't specific. <laughs> okay. What we do is we do a quick cut to some beautification shots of these. So then you can admire my little LED and Chris's RGB. Luckily, it's not too bright. It's not ridiculous and garish. It's just, it's there. Still pointless, but it's there. Make up your mom, own mind if you think it's worth paying for. Uh, for the RGB, it's not worth paying for, but for the feature set on it, for £80, pounds, I'm already going with this worth it in the long term. I will say, one thing to bear in mind is the USB-C cable you use, make sure you get a good one. A very good one. The one it comes with, the one this one came with anyway, is very adequate. The one your one came with for running the 4K one wasn't up to speed. It just wasn't a powerful enough uh, megabits of transfer rate on that one. So yeah. what we'd work out, it had to be USB 3.2, wasn't it, rather than... Mm. Something like that, because I ended up just getting um, kind of a, the best USB-C cable yeah. in the market at the moment. Yeah. And then not a lot. I mean, I think no. I paid £12 for it. Yeah, USB 3 wasn't USB-C 3, whatever way they name it nowadays yeah that wasn't putting enough data through and it was coming out a bit blurry as soon as you put the 3.2 cable with the proper connections crisp and you'll see some of that soon hopefully yeah well, let's let's throw that up on the screen side yep. by side of the two different cards see if you can actually distinguish the difference yep. uh because uh that's what it's there for one will be in which resolution 2k 1440p right, so you're doing 2k so again still not up to the limit of your one mine will only be at 1080 because that's all the poor little thing might there. even throw a quick 4k capture in there as well have the difference have the free if you can that'd yeah be great yeah we'll do that right oh. okay so let's throw that up now So you've seen the side by sides, you've seen the beautification shots. Um, yeah, it's really just up to you guys whether which one you'd go for, what your uses are. Yep. Personally, if you've got the money, go 4K. It still amazes me every time I pick this up, the weight compared to mine. It's, it's like nothing. What I like about it is as well, like if I throw this at you, it's not really going to do anything. If I throw this at you, this will survive quite nicely. You, after, you're only saying that. Yes, after your Alienware threatened to me. So wasn't this threat. is more agile. I can easily, uh, easily, uh, <laughs> not even a word. Boy, that wasn't a threat in that video. That was a promise. Well, that'll be your like nuclear device and this will be my little hand grenade. Okay. And on that rather violent note, hopefully you'll meet us in the next one. Like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 <laughs>